Under the leadership of Major General Victor Izugu, Daikon has introduced several During the year under review, the corporation's infrastructure and equipment have witnessed tremendous repairs, maintenance and replacement of deteriorated ones across Daikon facilities. There are turnaround maintenance and rehabilitation of machines at Ordfac. Installation and maintenance of support lines for production and improved lighting systems at Ordfac complex. Some repairs carried out include Repair of Atlas Compressor Machine C80-20 Air Compressor Annealing Machines Repair and painting of 10 quantity of wooden machines and replacement of acid with vinegar at all Ordnance Factory B. Others are repairs and painting of 10 quantity of machines in Ordnance Factory D, periodic maintenance of boiler machines and repairs of four hardness testing machines Rockwell at HNST and training school. Director General has within his one year in office reactivated all machines which hitherto halted the production of some ammunition. Presently, Daikon has commenced production and supply of ammunitions that were halted in the past, and research effort is ongoing to introduce new ammunition such as 12.7 by 108 and 12.7 by 109 ammunition lines. Reactivation of production lines for 7.62 by 51 mm, 7.62 by 65 mm, and 9 by 19 mm ammunitions. Also, uh, in the surface treatment section, uh, before he uh, uh, coming on board of this our DG, we don't have chemicals for our phosphating line, for our hard completing line. But thank God, now we have the chemicals, we can work uh, as it's supposed to be. Director General decided to look inwards and harnessed existing production machines, refurbished and reactivated them. Today, Daikon can boast of being self-sufficient in the production of tools and tooling. You can see milling machine also repaired. That side is a rough section where we use it to uh, produce spear parts machine, mechanical spare parts, and the aspect of that machine is without that we can't go further to other finishing operations. Also, several other production facilities and equipment were also procured to augment existing ones and aid production process in Daikon. Procurement of laser machines for Ordnance Factory C production of metallic boxes for conveying ammunition within production lines of Ordnance Factory E, production of pickling drums, production of 3,000 ammunition boxes, 37 wooden boxes for LAR and GBMG, production of 15 dummy rifles, procurement of 7.62 by 39 mm recycling machine known as Amaria has in no small measure taken Daikon to an enviable height, which has in turn enhanced production and in whole brought about positive changes. Also, the Research and Development Centre has seen tremendous change in areas of renovation and equipping of Daikon R&DC Chemical Laboratory engineering and scientists' offices as well as mechanical laboratory with state-of-the-art equipment. There are also procurement of an impact testing machine, a creep testing machine and procurement Magnuson Universal testing machine with a capacity of 25 kN from the United Kingdom for RNDC mechanical laboratory. Procurement of a muffled furnace, chemical refrigerator, Microprocessor Flame Photometer Metla Toledo Digital Weighing Balance Magnetic Stirrer Water Distillers Centrifuge Potential Hydrogen Meter for RNDC Chemical Laboratory Also, there is installation and calibration of Daikon Spectromax Metal Analyzer from Germany which had been left dormant since 2009 
Procurement of accessories from Fourier Transform Infrared Spectrophotometer FTIR and design and production of mechanical ventilators for COVID-19 patients. All of those machines are in order. We are running a series of tests. That's for material analysis. We do refers in the engine. The name of this machine is Atomic Absorption Spectrophotometer, popularly known as AAS. This machine is a very versatile machine for the determination of metals and samples, be it agricultural samples, water samples, medical samples, or food samples. This machine is one, is one, is one of the latest machines meant for this purpose. This one is Shimazu AA7000, equipped with automatic sampler, the hard drive vapor unit, and the mercury vapor unit. It comes also with the graphite furnace unit for the analysis of metals in part per million. The sensitivity of this machine can be in the range of part per million or part per billion, which means no matter how low the concentration of a particular metal in a sample is this machine will be detected. Research is an essential aspect of DICON. The absence of efficient laboratories and research equipment in DICON Research and Development Center seriously affected inventions and innovations in the past. In order for DICON to achieve its mandate, the Director General ensured that the DICON Research and Development Center was upgraded and its laboratories equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. This feat led to several innovations such as establishment of and commissioning of DICON Intellectual Property and Technology Transfer Office on 11th September 2019. One very important achievement is the establishment of the Intellectual Property Technology Transfer Office, co-located with the R&D Center. That is an office that is going to be a game changer that will attract a lot of research and innovation through co cooperative uh, uh, relationships with academia, other companies and other defense-related industries. Support to Research and Development Center leading to production of pyrotechnics, thunder flashes, smoke grenade and sound simulators. Design and production of mechanical ventilators for COVID-19 patients. Daikon Metal Cleanser for cleansing of 7.62 by 39 and 7.62 by 51 ammunition cartridge. Reactivation of Daikon Liquid Detergent Production Line. P3 Soap Project and Draw Soap Project. Research and production of sanitizers to combat COVID-19 and hand wash soap for Nigerian Army, Daikon Double Base Propellant and reactivation of Daikon Rocket Program. The Propellant Research Project, the Rocket Research Project, the Pit Tray Research Project, the Draw Soap Research Project, he regrouped our soap uh, factory. We also went and uh, sponsored a research to, that came out with the dipole metal cleaner for cleaning of uh, ammunition um, corpse.